presentation for here and I was told about Prospect RP, my immediate thought was um, that it's pretty uh, unfortunate and ironic that um, he was chosen to be the mascot. Um, given that the fact that, you know, this is a, uh, specifically because Cal State Long Beach sits on the California Indian sacred site and the 49ers has so much to do with the um, genocide. affected by the, um, the, when they started passing the laws or they were allowing people to uh, kill, collect scalps, you know, they were given bounties, they were given rewards for um, basically bringing in dead Indians, you know, proof of, of, of killings. Um, you know, they're massacring and raiding villages, uh, taking over territories. Um, I think uh, overall those are probably some of the, they were also um, in, unjustly um, arresting Indians, accusing them of theft, and then hanging them. So um, I know a lot of my ancestors were um, accused of being horse thieves and um, killed in that way. I think um, there was not one person at all that, uh, I mean only the native students here that I've spoken with find it ironic, but I don't think anybody else has much idea, especially it seems like everyone knows about the westward expansion as far as the Midwest and even the East Coast and what happened there, but when it comes to California, it seems like the history is very um, hidden. It's almost like, oh well there were Indians here, you know, when, when? You know, it must have been way before that, you know. Uh, they don't realize that we were uh, first contact people also. We were, we were hit and um, very rapidly the population went from very large to very minimal. Um, with not just, you know, murder and whatnot, it was also um, illness. And because they brought with them when they came in, so many people came in at one time and they brought with them this illness. Um, Selected, but it never has been really a proper way to create an identity of the university. To start with, with the um, expansion into Texas at the invitation of the Mexicans, the Anglos settled into Texas <clears throat> way prior to the invasion of Mexico, we have there the so-called incident of El Alamo. And this leads to the invasion of Mexico in 1946. It was not a war, it was an invasion. And of course, there was a discovery of a precious mineral 
called gold. And it is the discovery of gold that combined with the expansion to the West Coast, to the Pacific, that the U.S. under their, their policy and, and their doctrine of manifest destiny, uh, self-anointed the right to invade not only Mexico, but settle that so-called war by ripping off 55% of the Mexican territory. When this new boundary is set up, there's only about 25,000, excuse me, 100,000 Mexicans that remain north of the, of, the, uh, of the new border, and they are very quickly overrun. During those 25 years after uh, Mexico became the ruler of this territory, Mexico expelled the, the Spanish roughly around 1821. The War of Independence of Mexico against Spain began in 1810. It finishes around 1821. So it's only 25 years of Mexican period that we have before the U.S. invades Mexico and rips out half of the territory. Well, what happened soon after that is that because of the discovery of, uh, of gold, there is an invasion of this lands by prospectors literally from all over the world. We have South American and Central American prospectors. We had Chilenos. We had, of course, Asians, Chinese, that came into, the, into this area at the same time. But the predominant group, just like we're now outnumbering whites in California, whites outnumbered Mexicans and the so-called Californians that were the Spanish era rulers of California. So after the U.S. takes over the, 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 uh, the Southwest, uh, clearly the whites outnumber Mexicans, and this becomes a pattern of uh, over a hundred years of abusive, uh, oppressive policies that end up creating a very anti-Mexican, anti-immigrant environment until this day.